we're back to Arcade Spirits, and we're gonna find out what happens. I don't know who I'm gonna. I don't have met anyone other than our friend Juniper. She seems nice. So let's see what happens on this episode. The bus drops me off oddly, oddly enough, not very far from Juniper's office building. Although my destination isn't nearly as upscale as that. This is well, it's it's a strip mall. Strip malls are a relic of 19 blank blank blank. XX. Places where random assortment of weird little businesses jammed as many of themselves into a tight space as possible. For instance, I'm seeing a dentist, a used bookstore, a store card whole story, an arcade, a fast food joint. I see a whole story, the loan office, the barber shop. Oh, I don't see the, um, where's the dentist? I see all the other stuff. I like, I like these little malls though. They're kind of cute. I haven't been to one in a boarded up health spa once called Lattes and Emus, which sounds, um, and Enemas, which sounds, um... Hey! Listen! What do you think? I think there's two things no human being should ever combine. No, I mean, about your future place of work. I'm desperately hoping we're not talking about the same thing. No, I'm desperately which one of these businesses exactly am I working at? I don't know anything about oral hygiene or old books. I'd rather not be a fry cook. The one in the middle, silly. Behind the arcade? It is the arcade. Huh? Trust me on this. I reference and cross-reference and cross-cross-reference your personality details, personal history, and social media connections. This is your dream job. My dream job? Really? 99.97%. Yes! I should probably explain my confusion. Arcades are big businesses in the entertainment sector. Pro gamers are celebrities. Five star arcades are social hotspots. It's been popular with the mainstream. But well, restaurants are popular too, right? And everybody who opens up one hoping to be the next Iron Chef, TM, a dozen more shut down in failure. Arcade complexes are fierce. Payday, paydays range from peanuts to gold and sure, those who make it secure fame and fortune, but those who don't, well, no wonder I always see this as a dream job. Video games weren't always this popular though. I read an interesting article about it once. Back in the year 1980X, we nearly avoided a serious industry crash, which would have left video games as a kid toys fad. Like hula hoops, I mean, it's an exception. For instance, one of the factors that could have been a terrible game based off a kid's movie is a killing visitor who wanted a phone home. This game was a complete poopy poop butts, like poop butt, I'm not reading that. Massively overproduced, it ruined the video games for years. Fortunately, a cool heat heads prevailed, and that game was delayed until it could have been developed properly. And now the crash was averted. The crisis exists only in theory now. Sometimes I wonder what it's like for people in the darkest timeline, where everything went wrong. Are gamers considered nerds and outcasts? Are arcades vanishing points of nostalgia? Mind boggles. What? I guess this is a um, time where where um wasn't uh, nominated, but no, make no mistakes. As popular as they are in the arcade industries, a dodgy, risky prospect for a job. Plenty make it out, um, make a run at it, and we come up short. Considering I was tasked with giving me a job I enjoyed and could keep me a few for uh, keep me more than a few months, this is a little bit confused. Left me a little bit confused. Iris, this isn't me saying no. It's an interesting prospect, but I mean, are you sure about this? You say 99%? 99.97%. Sure. Would this be like my lifeguard job, though? Satisfying but short lived? This arcade doesn't exactly look like a five star. It's no Deco Palace, that's for sure. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't set a foot inside the arcade in a. 15 years? Uh huh. I remember I really enjoyed arcades when I was a kid. I wonder why I stopped going to them. Iris interrupts that thought with an eager to show off her homework. My sources say yes. Trust me, when I said 99.7% sure, I meant to make sure that's not some arbitrary number. I'm designed to be a bit silly and whimsical, but my math is deadly serious. My cutters made me uh, to be warm, personable in front of my data array. That's currently laser targeted on getting to, getting to you exactly what you need right here, right now. 
in when this place in Venby collapsed and I lose my dream job? What makes you think that's going to happen? Because it always it does. It always does. I don't think your database accounts for my family's curse. We've always had to, I don't know, compromise, settle, because things really ever work out. You always have to be ready for the worst. It's why I take things in stride these days. Does that mean you shouldn't even try? I have a mile to protest, but then I close in. As often my life tends to crumble in front, um, out from under me. It's not like she was wrong, I still have to try. Besides, what is my dream anyways? This is what I was asking myself when I left the house this morning. I don't know what I want from life. I've been kisses leaving for years. When things started running down here for my family, I had to grow up fast, put a side sail in this one to be an astronaut and take what I could get. Nothing strives I got a shot at taking something a little bit better than what I usually get. I owe it to myself to try and be happy and paid, not just paid. So I have to push through those doors and see what's waiting for me on the other side. I just get shot immediately. The air conditioner hits me like a cool breeze a bit. One of The air conditioner hits me like a cool breeze a bit. One of smelling of copper and corn chips. It's early in the morning on a weekday. It's not too packed with gamers. Although it's so packed with games, I'd probably have a hard time finding anyone anyways. At once, I'm struck by something odd. I actually recognize most of these games. Neat! Considering I haven't walked into an arcade in over a decade, that's probably not great. Lots of vintage stuff here, from the looks of it. Like, really old. Although I don't recognize the games with the stage, lights, and things. Maybe it's karaoke or dancing a Japanese My import. sources say yes. Checking! That'd be Showtime Stage, a calibration of Nihon Heavy Industry Concerns and Hubris Records in Germany. It won a lot of rewards. Huh. I recognize most of these. Whoa, is that a Mr. Moopsie's Magic Maze? But the one in the middle with the split screen is new to me. First up, Discomfort, a hybrid real-time strategy. A beat up and a burrito bump brawler. It's actually not that new. It's been a staple of esports scene for the last eight years. Two genres I was utterly lousy at last time I checked. And over there is an old lady. Um, sorry, ma'am. I was just talking to myself and I had an overwhelming urge to complete my sentence. This. Thankfully, I don't think she even reg um, registered me calling her old. She looks up from her knitting. Seated behind the ticket prize redemption counter and offers me a wrinkly smile. Well, hello there. Always nice to meet someone new in the funplex. The what? Francine's Arcade Funplex. D didn't you see the sign out front, dear? Well, I chose to knock off the first two words when they got knocked off the building during the storm of 1980. Now it's mm -hmm. just the funplex, I suppose. So... How can I help you, dear? That was funny. A funplex? Is that when you suplex a clown? A genie in my phone set up a job interview for me. You've been in business for X amount of years? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna do that one. I'm not doing a funplex one. That's not me. A genie. I don't know which one would be me or me. A genie set up a phone interview for me and I've you've been in business for that long. Let's do this one. A storm of 19x? I wasn't technically alive for that, but I've heard it was pretty awful. Oh, I wish I ignored many nor'easters around here, part, these parts. You get used to it. Arcade, little arcades to the test of time with it all elements. I actually have been around since 1970x, but back then games were really black and white and pinball was all the rage. Oh, how times change. That long? I thought the arcade business was high risk. Now when you hide good people with love in their hearts. Actually, are you looking to work here per chance? I'm currently classified as job seeking, yes. I oh, thank goodness. I was hoping someone would reply to that item post on the Please, web. Please call me Francine. As in Francine's arcade funplex. <laughs> Get it? I like her. Actually, Thinking about it, I suppose we were originally Frederick's Arcade Funplex, named after my dear departed husband. Oh. Sadly, he died peacefully in bed some years ago. Oh. Oh, um, I'm sorry to hear no, that. No, don't be. He died doing what he loved. 
having intensely physical relations with me. Hmm? Oh, that information I needed to know? Yes, that's information I needed to know, yes. And you are? City paper, ma'am. Very well. Shall we retire to the office to conduct your interview? I'd carry it out on here, but it's rather noisy, isn't it? Yes, about that. How do you deal with the constant noise anyways? Uh, eventually, you start to learn how to filter out all the beep and boops. It could take weeks to become accumulated. I found it found, but in the end, done. She quirks her eyebrows. I know. It's faster than any one of the others. Not bad. Shall we see what you made of? Hmm, this way, please. Francine led me down a back down a back hallway plastic public uh, past the public restrooms and a door marked employees only I take it um, I take all my stains not to point the exa um, eccentric apostrophe welcome to a little backstage of wishes I suggest we all do this in Gavin's office but he but it's a bit too untidy I don't blame the boy he's been so overworked lately please have a scene we'll begin as quirky as this place in the end may be, at least I'm confident that I can know the interview portion of this proceedings. I've interviewed a dozen of jobs. How down three? I know all the standard questions. What are your greatest strengths? What do you see? Your, what do you see your weaknesses? Once I even had um, um, had to even describe how to assemble a Lego set to prove my communication skills. That seems like a pain in the button. Considering I ended up washing dishes, I'm not sure why. I didn't even have to do that. Point is, I'm confident, prepared, and ready. If you were a dinosaur, dinosaur what dinosaur, dinosaur would you be? Shit, I need to look up dinosaurs. What? If you were a dino. Right, okay. Maybe this is, wouldn't be a typical job after interval. Okay, no problem. Go with the flow. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I would love to be a. Um, yeah. I love to this. I was about to look them up to see, like, okay, which is the one that flies? I'd rather be the fun. I've always wanted to be a bird, so. No, wait. All these dinosaurs are basically birds. Let me rephrase. I've always wanted to be a flying bird, like a pro raptor. Oh, penguin there, baby. That's cute. I want that poster. Swooping around, catching up dress, staying way away from mediators. Really? How exciting. Even if, technically speaking, protozoars want dinosaurs. What? What's your favorite snack? I want that penguin in the back. Snack? This is was my favorite food question. I've had this done easy. Tacos. Always tacos, but snacks... When mm. you have pizza on a bagel... Hush you. Come now, dearie. Don't have all day. <laughs> when you have pizza on a bagel... I'm s I am wonder if I didn't subscribe to that one. Uh, that wouldn't have happened. After getting up the thought, how could I forget my favorite snack? Tasty apple? No, I, munchies. Let's look in the depths of the vending machine. Okay, so like, I I do would eat an apple as a snack if I had them. I'm gonna have to like I wouldn't do in the depths of a vending machine. Tacos I don't count as snacks. Apples I would do, but I don't like almond butter. I have to go with that one. I'm not picky really. Whatever costs me the most um, is what I choose, whether it's Flaming Hot Cheetos or Gummy Bears. Very interesting. She go with the flow, a team player. It's kind of my thing. You know what they say, you are what you eat. Next question. Nothing I've prepared has helped me plan for this odd interview. Brace myself for the next one. What assets can you bring to the team during the inevitable zombie apocalypse? I did not expect that one. I was gonna say, what do you do when you expect the Dark Lord to rise up? Is this interview real or is it a dream? I look at Francine's deadpan expression. I know she's 130% serious. Engineering, I can make stuff medical. Hey, I know. <laughs> to be honest, I'd probably get eaten one day. You know, you know, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I wouldn't make much help in the in in. Invertible zombie apocalypse. At least I could throw myself into a horde of undead so you can't escape and live another day. But at least you're honest, and honesty is the best way to form trust. One more thing. Why are you here? The question is so simple. In most actually revealing career planning, that takes me off guard. I told you, 
I came here for about a job offer. You're seeking a job, true. But that doesn't really answer my question, does it? I like her. No doubt. You think my interview questions are a bit silly, but I like to think of the Funplex as more than a collection of tasks and people to perform those tasks. I love her. I love Francine. Most folks my age opening arcades at that time saw it as just another way to make a quick buck. But... Well, I saw it as something else. Something more than a way to make a large pile of quarters. And, I expect, you'll find the others working here see it as something more, too. Everyone has a dream they're chasing, dearie. And for my friends, it lies within the funplex. I like her. Now, if all you want is a paycheck, I can provide that. But the last fellow in your position, that's all he wanted. And he didn't last long. I like her. So I ask you again. Why are Why? you here? Why are you here? I need to. Do, I'm not gonna do a dish fight for her. To be honest, I didn't have a better answer than a vague hope that maybe this time I wouldn't lose everything. But that isn't enough motivation to face each day. No, more than that, I wouldn't be enough to answer a question. I need to actually think this through. It's a fun place. It's a place of fun. To be honest, I don't know. Not yet. Looking for hope. I haven't had much lately. I don't, I don't, um, if I don't take a risk, I'll be stuck. Well, it's not going to be the Funplex one. It's not going to be the star. It's not going to be this one, this one, or that one. Uh, if I go to my character shoes, I'd probably do this one. But I'm going to go with my own shoes. And I'm going to say, I don't know yet. I don't, to be honest, I don't know. Not yet. To be honest, ma'am, I don't, not yet know. I've been avoiding the question for a long time. Just making do, getting by, settling for what life will give me. Maybe I should want more than that, though. When I was a kid, I go to arcades with my family all the time, but that was long ago. Maybe I want to reconnect with that. Maybe I just want a job. I don't know. But if you hire me, I'm hoping to find out why I'm here all along the way. I can promise you that I take this job very seriously. In my last jo job as a life, I cannot talk as a lifeguard. Even if arcade games aren't life and death, I promise to take my work just as seriously. That perks attitude. Oh my, a rather serious occupation that. I need to step such troubling waters to a land of make-believe. You enjoy this. Roll that as a lifeguard, I take it. Yes, ma'am. My roommate says she's often knows me smiling after coming home from work. Which makes Francine smile in turn. I can't say I could offer you a roll in such a high stakes, but you'd be surprised how many ways one could save a life even here. Very well, I'm satisfied that you get to let's get you to work. Breathe easier than that. Probably the weirdest job interview I've ever had, to be sure, and yet it feels appropriate. Like it was far more than just filling slots on a payroll. Francine led me to the arcade floor to introduce me to my duties. And it occurred to me now that I forgot to ask what duties this mysteriously job I accepted involved. What are these duties? Well. Um. Okay, let's do this. Francine gestures to the seat she was occupying previously. A stool behind the price desk. And before we do that, what kind of duties are we having? What is our job? Why are we here? Will we find happiness at the Funplex? Frankly, I don't know. I hope we do. But I guess for now, we'll just have to wait and see next time. And if you also don't mind waiting till next time, well, just leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And how this girl stream come true too. You know, that's kind of silly. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely night. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.